not again. Extra, extra, extra. Read all about it. What's that? No, sirree. Won't do it. Can't make me do it. Can't make me do it. Read all about it. Here you are. Get your book. March 15th. Old Man Whiskers rides again. Well, looks like I'm the villain again. Seems funny folks can't realize the people lay down the rules and I just carry them out. My income tax is murder! Robber! You gone crazy or something? You're driving me to the wall! Can't pay it! Crops weren't good! Where do you think I'm gonna get the money? Now, boys, take it easy. Don't blow your tops. You're spending us into bankruptcy. Do you think money grows on bushes, bub? Listen, Uncle. Cut my taxes or else. I'd like to oblige, but you fellas seem to forget. The more benefits you demand, the higher your taxes have to be to pay the bills. Now, here's a list of a lot of things you'd like to have me buy for you. Some of which may be very worthwhile certain government educational projects. Government medicine for everybody. More people on government payrolls. More government power projects. Electricity for everybody. Small loans for small business. Big loans for big business. Convert four-lane superhighways to eight-lane super superhighways. More billions for Europe. Higher subsidies for farmers. Potatoes, dried eggs, wheat, butter, cotton, soybeans, beef, pork, sold to America. Can't you understand the more you get the higher taxes you have to pay. I'm paying more than my share now. And you ought to pay more. You farmers are doing all right, too. It's you city slickers that are to blame for higher taxes, not me. Now, boys, don't fight about who's going to pay higher taxes. You'll all pay, one way or another. You know, I'm not very proud of some of the methods I have to use to get money from you boys. For instance, you probably haven't noticed a certain character who's been collecting for me for a long time, Mr. Hidden Tax. <laughs> Every time you buy something, he takes a bite. Half of what you pay for tobacco. He ends up with about one third the price of a new car. Cut the tax off your wife's hat, and what have you got left? every time you buy a suit. He's right there to snip off his share. Don't forget, boys, that while you're busy complaining about your high income tax, Mr. Hidden Tax has already picked your pockets for his share. Add up the annual taxes the average person pays, and it's just like he has to work three months each year to pay his share of government expenses. As high as taxes are, you're still not paying off one dime on your national debt. What'll we do about that? Ah, oh, let it ride. I can't pay more taxes. Me neither. Don't look at me. He's still making plenty of profits. Yeah, old money bags is loaded with dough. Raise his taxes. Sounds logical, but let's look at the results. Our tax bill gives old J.P. something of a minor shock. Oh, no, not again. Here's what usually happens when we raise corporate taxes too high. Here first, I've got to pay my present taxes. And part of the profits have to help pay for the new plants. Must keep ahead of my competitors. And maybe I can skip a dividend. No, no, can't do that. 
I have to keep my stockholders happy. I might want them to invest more money in the business. Have to put a little by for rainy days. They come to everybody. Well, there's no money left to pay the tax increase. There's only one thing to do. So you see, boys, higher taxes on business mean higher prices to the consumer. And if prices get so high that customers aren't able to buy the goods industry produces, everybody suffers. Everybody has to pay for government spending, one way or another. The more government services you get, the more taxes I have to collect from you to pay the bills. I can hardly sleep nights worrying about balancing the budget. Looks like I'll never stop writing in red ink. You lobbyists are giving me nightmares with your hands out for more and more and more money. Another emergency, Uncle. I need some money right away. Hey, Uncle, you promised to pay me more than the market price for these buds. I want my share. How about a higher pension? Higher pensions. Small loans for small business. Big loans for big business. Corn subsidy. Egg subsidy. Health insurance. Government housing. Higher mail subsidies. Hands. Hands everywhere. Hands grabbing for money. More and more money. It's a nightmare. A nightmare, I tell you. Unless your government practices some good old-fashioned American thrift, a certain bunch of sharp operators may be able to pick up our country at a bargain price. To keep the torch of liberty burning brightly, all of us must do without some of the things we want. Only in that way can we preserve our strength and remain free.